Yesterday, my 11-year-old son telephoned me from Karachi. And he said to me, do not come back. It's a document of surrender. We do not want to see you back in Pakistan if you come like that. I will not take back a document of surrender from the Security Council. I will not be a party to the legalization of aggression. The Security Council has failed miserably, shamefully. For four days we have deliberated here. For four days the Security Council has procrastinated. Why? Because the object was for Dhaka to fall. That was the object it was to be from the beginning. All right, so what if Dhaka falls? So what if the whole of East Pakistan falls? So what if the whole of West Pakistan falls? So what if we are obliterated? We'll build a new Pakistan. We'll build a better Pakistan. We'll build a greater Pakistan. So the Security Council has acted short-sighted by acquiescing to these dialectary tactics. You know, you have come to a point when we'll say, do what you like. If before you had come to this point, we could have made a commitment. We could have said, all right, we are prepared to do some things. Now, why should we? You want to silence us by guns, silence our voices by arms. So why should we say that we are agreeing to anything? Now you decide what you like. Your decision will not be binding on us. You can decide what you like. You can do, because if you had left us a margin of hope, we might have been a party to some settlement. I find it disgraceful to my person and to my country to remain here a moment longer than necessary. But I am not boycotting. Impose, impose any decision. Have a treaty worse than the Treaty of Versailles. Legalize aggression. Legalize occupation. Legalize everything that has been illegal till 14th or 15th of December 1971. I will not be a party to it. We will fight. We will go back and fight. My country hearkens for me. Why should I waste my time here in the Security Council? I'm going. Oh, no, 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 no,